For today's lesson, we will be discussing about exponential models. So this means we will be discussing now word problems involving exponential functions. Exponential functions can be used to model exponential growth. So in our previous discussion with exponential functions, I already mentioned that there are two classifications for our exponential functions. So first is increasing exponential function, which is also the exponential growth, and we have the decreasing exponential function, which is the exponential decay. So exponential growth and exponential decay are present in different word problems and they are now the applications of exponential functions. The rule for exponential growth can be modeled by y equals a b raised to x where a is the starting number so this is the one that we have to remember y equals a b raised to x this is the form that we will be using in order to write the function that represents the given word problem to us. So, A is the starting number, B is the growth factor, so for example, does the number of bacteria double in value, divide itself, multiply by 5, and so on. So, that is the growth factor. And X is the number of intervals, so for example, um, it doubles every 1 second, it doubles every 5 seconds, or every R. So, that is for the interval. So, these are just the terms that we have to remember and identify in our word problem. If a certain quantity increases by a fixed percent each year or any other time period, the amount y of that quantity after t years can be modeled by the equation y equals a times 1 plus r raised to t. So if the given problem to us involves a fixed percent and also there is a quantity given to us and it increases over a period of time, then this is the formula that we will be using. Now a is the initial amount, r is the percent increased express as decimal so for example your initial amount is 1000 and then every year it increases by 3% or 5% so a there is the 1000 and then r is 0 0.5 or 0 0.05 if it's 5% so those are the values that we have to identify then t that refers to the number of years Let's have this first word problem. A certain culture of bacteria doubles every 2 seconds. A scientist placed 10 bacteria in a dish. Write the exponential function that represents the number of bacteria in the dish after s seconds. So our task is for just to write the function that represents this word problem. Since this word problem, so it involves a bacteria and it doubles every 2 seconds. So we'll be using the formula y equals a b raised to x. So we have to identify now what is the first number, what is the growth factor, and what is the interval. So in this case, our starting number is 10. Because there are 10 bacteria in a dish to start with or to begin with. Now, the growth factor is, as you can see here in the word problem, it says that the bacteria doubles every 2 seconds. So, that means the growth factor now is 2. When you say double in value or double in number, that means you're multiplying by 2. So, our B now is equal to 2. Now, for the interval, so we will be just using a variable to represent this. And since it says here that every 2 seconds, the bacteria doubles, so that means we will count one interval after 2 seconds. So, what we will do is, instead of just writing S as our exponent or interval, what we will do is, we'll write S over 2. Now, why did it become S over 2? Because... There will be 2 seconds every interval. So, if it's every seconds, then we'll just have to write S. But since there are 2 seconds, and you have to count it as 1 interval, so we'll divide it by 2. So, for example, after 2 seconds, so you substitute here 2 over 2, so that is equal to the first interval. So... If, for example, 4 seconds, so that will be 4 over 2, which is 2, that means that is now the second interval. So that's why we have to divide it by 2. Now that we already have the information, we can now write the function. So since we're using s, let's write f of s equals, the starting number is 10, and then the 
growth factor is 2 and then we have the exponent which is s over 2. So this is now the function that represents this given word problem. Another example, suppose a bacterium divides into 10 copies of itself every hour. If a single bacterium is isolated and placed in a petri dish, how many will there be after 9 hours? So this time, we have to identify the exact value or exact number of bacteria after 9 hours. So it is the same as with the first example, but this time we have to evaluate it afterwards. So we again are using y equals a b raised to x. So identify the first number. So our starting number here will be 1. Now, why is our A equal to 1? Because, because there's only a single bacterium placed in a petri dish in the beginning of the experiment. So that's why our starting number is 1. For our growth factor, since a bacterium divides into 10 copies of itself, that means our B should be equal to 10. And then for our exponent, or the interval, since it's every R, so... 1R is for one interval, so there's no need to divide, so we'll just write here H. Now, we can write the function for this. F of H equals 1 times 10 raised to H. And then we'll have F of H equals 10 raised to H. So this is now the function that represents our word problem. But since there's a question... How many will there be after 9 hours? So let's substitute. So this time we'll be using h equals 9. So f of 9 equals 10 raised to 9. So we'll just solve this. Therefore, that will be 1 billion. Therefore, we can say that there will be 1 billion One billion bacteria after nine hours. So that will be our final answer. For our third word problem, a car is worth one million in 2012. Suppose its value depreciates by 3% every year. How much will be its worth after T years? So first you analyze the word problem. What kind of function? Exponential function is given. So as you can see, we have here the word depreciates by 3% and it means that the value decreases by 3%. As the number of years increases, the value of the car decreases in value. So that means this word problem involves exponential decay. With the two previous examples, both of them are exponential growth because as you can see, the number of bacteria keep on increasing depending on the number of hours or seconds but again in this word problem this one is exponential decay now since in this word problem there is an amount then there is also a fixed percent so we will be using the formula y equals a times 1 plus r raised to t but you have to be careful because this formula is for exponential growth. But what we have is exponential decay. So we just have to change some values in order to answer it correctly. So let's start with the starting money or starting value. And that is 1 million. And then for the rate or the percent increased in decimal. But since again, this is... For this original formula is for exponential growth. What we will do is we will set R to be a negative value. Now, why do we have to set this as a negative value? Because we're getting the opposite. Since this one is decreasing, R should be negative. So that means we are decreasing by this particular value. Now, what is 3% in decimal? So that is 0 0.03. So take note, if the given word problem is decreasing or exponential decay, then the R to be used should be negative. Now our goal is just to write the function itself. So what we will do is just substitute the values. So f of t is equal to, then we have 1 million times 1 plus negative, so that will be 1 minus 0 0.03 then raise to t and then just simplify this so we will have 1 million times 
0.97 raised to t. So, this is now the function that represents this word problem. So, you can now easily identify the worth of the car, let's say, um, after 10 years. So, all you have to do is just to substitute t equals 10 to our function. For our last example, Thea deposits 50000 in her account. She gets a 3% annual interest. If she makes no deposits and no withdrawals, how much will her money be after 20 years? So this word problem again involves a certain quantity and it increases by a fixed percent, which is in this case is 3%. Now this word problem involves exponential growth because as you can see, uh, she deposits the money and it gains interest. So that means the money is growing as time passes by. So we will be using the formula y equals a times 1 plus r raised to t. So we will again identify the values that we will be using and we will substitute it to the given form. So a again is the starting money which is 50,000. And then r here, since this one is already exponential growth, so we will be using a positive value of r, which is in this case 0.0t. Now for the t, we will be using 20 because we have to identify how much will her money be after 20 years. So that will be the value of t. And then all you have to do now is to substitute. So we have, uh, let's write first the function. So that will be 50,000 times 1 plus 0 0.03 raised to t. So if we simplify this, we'll have 50,000 1.03 raised to t. And then, so this is now the function. And then what we will do is to substitute t equals 20. So f of 20 equals then we have 50,000 times 1.03 raised to 20. So all you have to do is to input this in your calculator. So we will have 90,305.56 as the value. So that means Thea's money will be... Then let's write the amount, 90,305.56 pesos after 20 years. So we're able to identify now the amount that she will get after 20 years. So that's it for today. I hope you learned something about exponential models, how to use exponential functions in different word problems, and see you next time.